Hey there guys, this is uh, Jesse with Promo Fit. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, update on some stuff. Yeah, haven't done any uh, plant updates in a little while. So, I'll give you a quick tour and show you what's going on. So, this is a uh, pretty much untouched area from the previous homeowner. I added the uh, little dollar store solar lights. I'm actually going to take, I think, these three apart and harvest the solar panels and the LEDs off them because you can't argue with a small solar panel and an LED for a dollar. You go online and they're going to cost you more than that. Uh, at least the solar panels will. Uh, hammock I got for free from a buddy who was just too lazy to ever set it up, so it sat in his yard for a year, and I've gotten some good enjoyment. My pump, and uh, I have a hand-dug, uh, unregistered well that my neighbor likes to use and in exchange he mows my yard. Uh, pretty cool guy and it does pretty good doesn't put out a ton of water but more than enough to water the yard and garden area so this is a uh, old forge I got at a estate sale I actually have the blower and stuff and everything it's sitting outside I think it was built in 1912 and I used it for a little bit but it's it's a hassle I mean if we had to go back 100 years to do stuff like that that's fine you could do it but lots of effort yeah, so I turned it into a little watering dish for birds. Um, and now these are some plants that I'm not sure if we're going to make it. This guy, this guy's doing pretty good. It's green. Um, this guy here is triple crown thornless blackberries, or I like to call a stick. But I put some uh, new soil on top and everything and made sure it's good and watered. This guy here, I also call a stick, but is uh, Toro Blueberries. I don't think it's going to make it. This guy here, which is kind of bummer, is a boysenberries, which are awesome if they grow, but they're the only one that, out of all of them that grow that has thorns, so that's kind of a hassle. Um, this guy here, I also call a stick. This one actually has a little bit of green hard to see here but this is going to be uh, raspberries so hopefully they make it this guy here is my aloe vera plant it was stuck in this tiny little tiny little pot forever and it was really starting to do really well but a, a couple of the uh, I don't know if they call them leaves or whatnot and stuff were actually starting to turn black and wither so I brought it out here took this old pail deal Put some uh, broke up the dirt, put some uh, better stuff in it, as well as some stuff that retains some water, and give it some water, and hopefully it does well. So this is my one of my trees, and you probably watch, go watch a video from last summer. This is my pear tree. This is the semi dwarf. These are all they're both semi dwarfs and stuff and everything. So it's doing excellent. Now, if you remember from the previous video of the uh, the grow room which I haven't finished yet because I'm being lazy. Uh, but uh, this guy only had a few buds on it. And after I got the grow room done, I didn't have the timer hooked up for the lights. So what I did was I just plugged it in, the lights in, which are very dim, and just let them, I just left them on for, I think, two or three weeks. And in the meantime, these things just exploded. And... This guy's also doing quite well. It's just way slower growing. Um, this, I believe, is my plum. Let's see here. Yep, Mount Royal Plum. Um, they're both doing just excellent. So I have them tied off here, which is, this was just already here. But it's just something to keep, if it gets really windy, to keep them from moving around too much. I do have some uh, string here, tying them to the... Uh, Tying them to the tree to keep from moving around too much. Let's see this guy, just like that. <clears throat> and uh, that's masonry string, which it's really strong and it's got a little bit of stretch to it. Don't think this is hooked up to anything. I'm gonna probably try restoring it this summer. And that I'm gonna clean up and put some outdoor paint on it. So here's a free engine I got. Um, it was off a rototiller. And 
it, I want to say it's like a three and a half, maybe a four horse or something. Um, I took the carburetor off, sitting right there, and uh, it's a carburetor filter, and then that's the exhaust uh, manifold or whatever you want to call it, muffler. And anyways, I got almost all the parts for to build a Geet engine or Pantone engine. If you go and look him up, I think there's a video out there. It's called Inventor Jailed for Invention or something like that. If you go and watch it and stuff and everything. Well, if you go and look online long enough, you can find the uh, instructions on how to build this deal. It's supposed to be able to run on almost any fuel. So one of these days I'm going to work on that and get that going. And this is the yard. In the backyard. Oh, I'll take you around to the front yard and show you what I got going out there. See. Sorry about the shakiness here. This is a tree. I have no idea what kind of tree. If anybody knows, let me know. Pine tree, not doing as good. I think I needed some water. So these are some semi brake drums that had just weeds growing in them and pretty much unkept for quite a while. So on this one, I turned all the soil over, added a bunch, watered it. And I added a bunch of uh, spinach to this one. So this is going to grow a bunch of spinach, in theory. And then this one over here, same thing. Took out all the, uh, all the weeds and stuff and everything. And this one's going to be, I believe, sugar snap peas. If everything goes right. So that's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, like and share and uh, I'd like to do some sort of a promotional thing with somebody else if they're interested. If you have a video you want to promote, I will uh, share and promote your video if you share and promote uh, one of mine. Alright, thanks. Bye.